Sardikola is a beautiful village located 217 km northwest of capital city Kathmandu and 17 km north of Pokhara Valley. Located in the Seti River Basin and surrounded by the tributaries Sardikola and Burjankola River, the BDC has been gifted by the immense tourism potential. With the fascinating view of the Mazapushri mountain peak and the exciting waterfalls on the way, this BDC is truly a bone or a natural gift to a human mankind. The popular tourist sites in this area include the Annapurna Conservation Area trekking site and recently the Gandaki Rainbow Trout Farm. Few years ago, Tatupani or the hot stream has once been a popular religious and pilgrimage site of this area. The site played a major role in bolstering the hotel business and uplifting the economic standard of the local residents in this area. However, all the happiness in the successful phases were faded in an instance as a devastating city river glacial breakdown disrupted loss of several human lives, the pilgrimage site and the acres of agricultural lands. The two Gurungs, Amrit Gurung and Lakshin Gurung, originally from the same BDC, established a rainbow trout farm in Bujankhola after discovering the climatic suitability of the area for trout fish farming. The 30 million project was established to utilize the locally available resources and divert the mentality of people towards the settlement and occupation in the rural area. As the products produced in the farm are consumed in the same area, Gurung claims the system is newly introduced in Nepal. As I asked him about the changes in the community he has seen after the establishment of Rainbow Trout Farm, he answered as local organic ये गांव ठाउं का उत्पादन तरकारी आ रहा है तीनों रो यहाँ शटरडे वीकेंड बिजनेस यहाँ राम राम जा यहाँ पसल रहा है ये दौर में और तीनों को एक दो को ले रहा हूँ नहीं ले दिन में दो ही शेव करते हैं आई ना ये और फायदे त्याग बन बोले पोहरशान पोगन पड़े ना आई ना मार्केट यहीं पाय आरको कुरो तेजस्वी बीग नहीं आया शिवन ले आली के तो बुत जा बोले वही ना जो जानकर बन पड़ते नहीं आ कैश पैसा आता है जी अतिओ वो आरको कुरो ये शरी आऊं दा शरी ये शरी टूरिज्म टूरिस्ट ये शरी बोर्ड दा शरी इतने ढेरे कुरे शिकाम चा सागरन तो फैशन में पुनी चेंज आऊं दा गांव ठाम अब त्यो रांझान मचिए जाऊँ जा, बोली चाली मचिए जाऊँ जा, है? अन्य आर्थिक में अब स्थानीय चीज़ आरु ये सरी बिग रखेरी, आर्थिक में बन के ही शायद आऊँ, तेज़ तो होंगे, बर रखेरी यो तीन ले पनी फिर कृषक लाई पनी अली प्रशांत दिए गोंगे, ओहो उत्पादन करे बंदा मार्केट तो यही होना रहता नहीं, यही आऊं तो रहता नहीं, बन्नी बन्नी जाना होता, ये डेरी फायदा सा है, ये इसको दृश्य आदृश्य, फायदा तो डेरी है। वो विष्णु देवी आचार्य, a local resident says that she has been hugely impressed after her village was being labeled as a Sundari village by many of the international tourists visiting this rainbow trout farm. She also says that she has been highly impressed from the work of the two gurus and the entire community has been motivated by the effort of them.
Ram Acharya, a social worker and teacher from this village says many youths have been attracted into agriculture profession because of this farm. Indra Gautzan is one of these names who left the existing job to involve himself in commercial agriculture. जैसे यू बंदे की रिंग बताओ साफ़ होना भाई तो यहाँ देरे रिंग बताओ तो रु इसको प्रेरणा जाता सब रिंग बताओ तो रु यहाँ खुले का सम पाँच सौ वाला इसको पौषी खुली से लेकर सम ये पौषी खुले का सम ये वाला मुख्य प्रभाव हो सचु यहाँ और एक आचन धर्मा सम किन्हीं में किन्हीं वाला किसी आचन व्यवसाय करे तो Agriculture. The farm has also solved the unemployment issues as it provides jobs to 25 youths of this village. Guru himself had discarded the permanent residency of Hong Kong to enroll himself into agriculture in his own native land. The two Gurungs are trying to implement the Japanese fish farming technology into Nepal. He believes the hindering force in his ambitious project is the ill mentality of the government to us farming in Nepal and the lack of proper technology available to the farmers. His managerial and technical skills should be wisely used by the government and youths according to Ram Acharya. His farm is now a major income generating source for retail markets, VDC as a tax and local agriculture entrepreneurs. Priti Lal Taman is a major witness as his products of worth 60,000 is consumed by a farmer per year. Under proper technical support from the government, the two gurungs aim to extend their farm to Malayan organic farm to make it renowned all over the world. However, they have a very long, long way to go ahead.